I woke up very early around five and I tried to go on the WordPress website that I don't know, for some reason had crashed at the time. So I went on Facebook and uh, I happened to bump into the post of Time magazine and I clicked on sport and then there was a paragraph and then just right underneath the paragraph there was Giovanni Cabriotti's portrayal of rugby play, unconventional portrayal of rugby players, throws uh, out of the window, all the stereotyping, won first prize. And then I got paralyzed and I was like, is that me? And then uh, let the madness begin. You know, the day before, I was like kind of anxious and, you know, I was thinking about it because it's, you got a mixed feeling, you know, you, you, you are at the end of the, the journey, but you don't know if you're going to, if you're going to be in the last three. I yelled a little bit because I'm Italian, so I yelled a little bit. I called my parents and then I tried to call Frank. Uh, after seven, because my Canadian wife said to, say to me, it's not polite to call people before seven. The essence of the story, the, the, this is a good question because, you know, I've been thinking about it for the, the past year, for the entire 2016, what who I want to say. Only by the end of 2016, I was able to realize what I really was doing with these guys because I've been thinking about the way of saying it, but I, I, I was unable to find the right words to describe what I really was doing. At the end of the year, I was like, boom, this is what I'm doing. Basically, I'm helping these guys, or I'm documenting how these guys are describing and de deconstructing masculinity within a sport performance. It was amazing because, you know, I remember watching these guys play, some of them that you may consider very feminine, they become beast on the pitch. And you know, uh, that was something that blew my mind away. It's about inclusion, it's about the discomfort that they were feeling in a regular locker room because of the jokes, because of the homophobic talk, but they didn't realize that instead they were doing this, deconstructing and describing masculinity within sport performance. I, I just started the thing, going to, to the Bingham Cup with them. And from then on, I become closer and closer to the guys and I gain all the access to go and shoot, to go to their house and, you know, just be one of them. And so I really did it uh, in the most candid way possible. In my opinion, uh, all the images resonate to me because these people allowed me to leave and they gave me something, you know, every time that I was pressing the shutter, they were giving me something. He pushed me and he helped me to challenge myself in aspects of my life, not just photography aspect of my life that I felt and I feel I have to improve and I have to become better. So that, that is the best thing that loyalists did to me as a human being. After that, I can tell that, you know, I came here and I disliked captions and all the conventional things. I came out a loyalist and now I'm, yeah, caption. That's what you gotta do. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>